Why yes, the king of everything does indeed look like dumpling a bit, kinda. Bear, I said it, 60% of the internet has now been satisfied. That's right everyone, Dragon Ball Super Episode 41 just dropped and this is pretty much the conclusion of the Shampar arc. Well, it goes out with people going through the intestines of a huge galactic dragon, that's what. Come forth, god of dragons, and grant my wish. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Sorry, that's too funny. Okay, so let me get this straight. Is that really the king of everything? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You? Yeah. Alright then. So what's the king of everything doing at a match between two gods of destruction who can't decide wh who's ego is bigger. Well, he was just pretty much there to scold the two of them for not doing their jobs of, like, you know, blowing shit up. But instead of castrating some kittens, he actually commends Goku of all things. What a surprise! Goku acting like the bumpkin he is to royalty. He did that with Virus, he did that with King Kai, he did that with pretty much anyone of any repute and respect. And, oh, you think he's just gonna get scolded? No! Yeah, he cool, he cool. He got, yeah, okay guys, go, 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 cool, cool. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Not only is the king of everything cool with Goku pretty much manhandling him and lifting him up and down, he actually wants to have another tournament with not just Universe 6 and 7 really having a rematch, he wants to have all 12 universes bring their strongest fighters and come together for one big ultra tournament. So, Dragon Ball Super is all about the tournaments. Oh, what's that I hear? I think it's the Dragon Ball multiverse lot having a collective shout of glee. Tournaments on tournaments on tournaments. Beerus has kind of lost his boner for winning the tournament, but that doesn't stop Shampa having a dig at him and saying, Oh, uh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna come back and have, like, a bigger army, like, uh, twice as strong as you! And Beerus is like, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And they all went home for tea. And Goku promises to Hit that they will have another fight in three days' time, or one day, or whatever Hit doesn't say, because, again, Hit just does not say anything. So that's just Hit's character. Uh, maybe he'll just expect him at night? Hit just comes to Goku's bed and goes, Boo. Oh, look at that! Margin Boo finally woke up and finds out that Monica has now been inducted into the Mr. Satan Hall of Fame! What an honor! All the forums were right. Every pundit was correct. The final Dragon Ball was the planet that they were fighting on. And after Whis kind of just blows the core off it, the last Dragon Ball appears. And then they make their wish in the old god tongue, which... I'm not gonna lie, it just sounds really funny. Especially when you add just CHOMAGE! Easy peasy lemon squeezy to ancient god languages of millions and billions of years of age and artifacts. You then add a little cutesy little phrase from like a few decades ago. It's Toriyama for you, it's right there. Whoa, that's a big dragon. Whoa, oh, that's a big dragon. Whoa, oh, that's a big dragon! Uh, the, the, the set, it was that big. The set nearly fell over. So yeah, this is our dragon. He grows to infinitesimal size and eats a planet and wears galaxies for rings and like gets big... Uh, what, what the hell's going on here? So after puffing the magic dragon, they end up talking to the nucleus of the dragon Zarama or Super Shenlong as they call it. Beerus gets to make his wish after some cuckolding from Bulma. And what does he wish for? A more comfortable bed. Or so we think. Out in the midst of Universe 6, Shampa spots a Dragon Ball flying away and noticing that the Earth of Universe 6 has returned to life. Beerus wished for that Earth to come back to life. Was this done in a selfless manner? Has Beerus turned over a new leaf and wishes to become a god of creation? Eschewing all his destructive ways from the past and suddenly becoming a good guy? Nope, it's just to get Shampa to shut up and owe him a favour. Well done, Beerus. It's a start. Just as I thought, he is a total sundere. Well, it's not like I wanted to give your planet back or anything. Baka! And then the others went home for tea, and Monaco goes back to his job of being a delivery boy. Becoming the official punching bag of Goku. So, uh... That's fun. And with that, the Shampar arc is over. Well, I have to admit, I had a lot of fun with this arc. It felt really like Dragon Ball. There was a lot of action, there was a lot of tension, and some characters got some really good development, particularly Vegeta. But then again, it wasn't perfect, and quite a few characters, especially Piccolo, really got the short end of the stick. And Frost, I'm still disappointed with that. Frost had so much potential, but then they just made him evil, just like Freezer, and it's just like, Ugh. 
I'm still sore about that. To me, it also delivered the sheer change of scale. You know how in Z, it all just was on Earth, pretty much? It then went to space with Z, and you found on Nemec, and all that kind of stuff, and the galaxy. Now it's just gone from, like, the galaxy to the universe, and the universe is... And then we get a tournament with all the 12 universes. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. It wasn't a perfect arc by all means. There were some flaws, there were quite a few issues, but really, I had a lot of fun with this. And it proves that Dragon Ball Super can hold itself up on its own. And I'm happy. And I want to see more of this. And no, I'm not going to talk about the preview. Because... I'm not going to fall into that trap again, so ha. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Tune in next week for what I think of the new arc or the little filler stuff or whatever it turns out to be. So until then, be sure to like and subscribe this video and check out all my other wheelings and dealings on this channel. But anyway, until next time, guys, catch you later.